Are there actually AI tools out there that can help you with building a community? I spent the past couple of months taking a look at tons of these tools. I can confidently say that yes, there are definitely AI tools out there that can help you besides ChatGPT that go beyond the hype and can actually help you save time and money when building your own community. Here are some of the ways that AI tools can help you. From defining your community's purpose and goal to understanding the people that are joining your community, community member research is really important to helping you set up your community. I've definitely been able to save time by using some AI tools in this stage. And lastly, you can use AI to help boost awareness that your community exists and hopefully get the word out to the right people to join your community. Cut through the noise. I've tried a whole ton of AI tools. There were some that just did not work, some that over-promised and under-delivered. And I've really tried to find tools that will actually help you as a community builder and not waste your time. I'm gonna go through four AI tools in this video. The tools I'm gonna cover each step that I've just mentioned. So let's go. Okay, the first tool is going to help you define your community strategy and goals. Now I've talked about ChatGPT in the past and to be honest, I love ChatGPT. I use it every day, but I found another tool called Perplexity. Now, if you pay for ChatGPT 4, then you're able to extract information from the current web. But if you're only getting the free version, then you're probably not getting the most up-to-date resources out there. But Perplexity actually scours the internet. So if you're not paying for ChatGPT, then you should definitely be taking a look at Perplexity AI. What I really like about Perplexity is that it actually lists out sources from where it's found all the information that it's providing, and I'll show that in a minute. But firstly, I just wanted to use an example. So say you're looking to build a community. I've said here, I'm trying to focus on people trying to upskill and keep up to date with new technologies. So I've told Perplexity a little bit about the community that I'm trying to build. And then I've asked it to develop a community strategy and follow up with asking me any relevant questions around developing this strategy. I've also mentioned that I want to monetize the community in future. So all these additional details help with formulating a strategy. What I would be doing is adding in your own business goals. So for instance, if you're a startup and you really wanted to just gain awareness about the product or the service that you're selling, then make sure you add this into perplexity as well, that your goal for the business is this and that you would like the community to help you achieve those goals. So as you can see on the screen, what perplexity has done is it's actually asking me follow-up questions to give me the best results possible. So it's asked here, what is the main goal of monetization for your community? And I'm just gonna say consulting services and I will send that through. It'll read through the response. What's really great is it also shows you that it's looking through the web to find the best resources to answer your question. And as I mentioned before, it shows you the sources. It's actually gone through about 20 different sources to provide this answer. And you can click through and take a look through all of these sources. You can see that it's given me some steps as to how to formulate a community strategy, of course, I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be as good as hiring your own community consultant to help you formulate the strategy. But if you are sticking to a really strict budget and you just need some help with getting started, then I recommend looking through Perplexity to see whether you can find some helpful resources. Some of these sources have great articles, how to build a community of clients in your consulting business, for instance, how to monetize your startup consulting services. It's just. Some of these, how to monetize a community in 2024. And I just like the fact that you can click through, take a look at the sources and determine for yourself whether that's actually going to be relevant sources to go ahead and use the advice. Another great feature with Perplexity is that you can watch videos as well. So it pulls in videos from different sources online. So if you prefer, like we're on YouTube right now, so if you prefer to actually access information through watching videos, then you can use Perplexity to, to search for videos. You can also search for photos as well. And in the pro version, you can even generate images, which is similar to what ChatGPT does with Wally. -E. And next up, we have a community member research 
tool that's going to help you using AI. I really think this one's a game changer for anyone that has one-on-one -on -one conversations with members trying to figure out how they can deliver value to their community members, if you have focus groups, if you're actually reaching out to people and having conversations, even webinars, Speak AI is potentially going to be a really useful tool for you. I know so many community managers that have saved all their MP4 videos of research that they've done before launching a community and there's notes in documents, they might have a notion where they've made notes about the videos. This is just going to completely obliterate all that manual labor that is required to try to find all these useful insights. And I think when I show you this tool, it's probably gonna blow your mind. So let's take a look at it. Let's say that you have a group meeting with some community members and you're trying to kick off this community and figure out how you can deliver value to them. Say so it's a, a group focus group. So what you can do is when you host meetings like this, you can actually invite Speak AI as an assistant to take notes whilst you're hosting the meeting. Now there's plenty of other AI tools that do this. I'm gonna show you how this actually translates into a super effective way of not only recording the notes, but how you can use these notes later on. So this is the basic transcriber. You can call the Speak AI Assistant whatever you want. So if you wanna call it something that is less scary to people, you could brand it accordingly, but it's really easy to use. It works with all the major platforms. So if you use Google Meet or Zoom or Microsoft Teams, then you're gonna be able to integrate this tool into your meeting. So that's the first step with Speak AI, how it can help. It can transcribe all your calls. Not only does Speak AI transcribe the calls that you have with your own members, whether those group calls or one-on-one -on -one calls, it can also take all the data that you input it from social media. Say there's other podcast recordings or other videos or webinar recordings, you can upload all of those into Speak so that you're creating this incredible incredible database of your community members and their motivations, their challenges, anything that's relevant to you building your community. You can upload all of that into Speak and then it's going to actually analyze this information and provide useful insights for you. So what do useful insights look like? They create insights that are really easy to digest. So things like keywords, things like popular keywords that are mentioned in word clouds. These are things that you can actually show to your manager, your boss, your co-founder. So you can identify really popular topics and hone in on those. It could be that you create community content strategy around these popular keywords. Here's some other visualizations. I mean, I could go through a lot more, but I highly recommend you try out this tool and see for yourself. Here's where Speak gets even better to me. You can use all of your data that you've provided Speak as your own ChatGPT repository. You can ask it any question based on your data and it will help you understand your data better. So say for instance, you've uploaded all your community member research videos, all your webinar recordings, etc., and you ask it a question like, what is the top community content that I should be creating to deliver the most value to the members based on our research. But this is something that over time, you can constantly be adding to your repository. So if you're hosting community events, if you've got all these things going on like podcasts and Twitter spaces with recordings, et cetera, you can just add it all to this tool and then ask it questions as if it's your own community manager. I just think this is really powerful. Honestly, I wish I had this tool years ago. It would have saved me so much time with analyzing member research and creating reports. You can easily use the reports that Speak AI generates and plug that into your own presentations. So if you need to convince anybody within your organization or startup about community and all the insights that you're getting, 
you're going to save so much time by using a tool like Speak. Okay, so we've got your community strategy. We've got your community member research repository, thanks to Speak. Now let's figure out how to launch this community. One of the biggest challenges with being a community builder is trying to figure so much stuff out and being a jack of all trades. I know a ton of community builders that are great at developing connections with people, but don't know how to build a website. And it's a total challenge. And to be honest, there's a ton of no code tools now, which is very helpful. But, but now what's even more exciting is that you can use AI to just tell it what you want from a website and it'll just build it for you. Make Landing is a tool for you to build your community website really quickly. Now this is really to focus on landing page generation. I'm not talking about actually building your community platform. This is more like a funnel so that you can direct people to this page so that they can understand more about your community, why they should join, what are the benefits, and then direct them hopefully to an application form so that they can apply to join your community and then join your community platform separately. I'm going to show you an example of a community that's used Make Landing. It's actually a Korean express course. So learn how to speak Korean with confidence. They have their own community, um, but they've created their landing page. And you can see it's super simple, but it's got its own personality. Most importantly is it's got information about why you should join the community. So the community benefits, it's got testimonials. To me, it looks very Gen Z like. I mean, I think a lot of websites these days, you don't need to have the most flashy website. It's just got to have a bit of personality it's got its own branding. You can see that the font type is specific for this community. It has all this information about pricing. It also has an FAQ. And I think that there's a lot more of these landing pages that are being created simply to get the message across as to why people should join your community. It doesn't need to be a crazy complicated situation. How it works is you describe your project. So you're typing in a few words about your community, what you're doing, what the benefits are. You just talk to it as if you're talking to your own web designer. And then it'll go ahead, it'll generate all the copy, it'll generate a unique logo and illustration. So if you're trying to figure out all of that stuff from scratch, I'd recommend even trying this tool to see what it spits out and whether it's something that is along the lines of what you're looking for. Because if it is, then you're creating something very quickly without having to pay for your own web designer, branding, etc. And then you can go ahead and customize the content. So you can upload your own pictures, you can change the copy, you can edit everything. And then you just go ahead and share the site. Another great aspect about this tool is it's super affordable to build using Make Landing. So a lot of those other websites that sell the ability to build your own website are quite expensive. This one starts at $9 per month. So if you've got a very, very simple website that you want to create, then you're really looking at very low cost. So you're saving time, you're saving money, and the fact that you can customize everything even after it's been generated, you're off to a flying start, and you can just keep building accordingly. It also has multi-language support, which is really useful. And get this, when you look at the FAQs and ask how long does it take to generate a website, up to a minute. That's insane. I mean, I think some of these look absolutely incredible as well. You can also look by a community. Look at all these. These are awesome. I also think it's really cool that I'm seeing Threado and Dots have used Make Landing to build their websites. I mean, these are tools that community managers know about. And yeah, they're using Make Landing. So I think it's a great tool. Check it out. Okay, lastly, I'm going to go through a tool that helps you raise awareness that your community exists. This tool is called Social Bee, and I swear this tool is so great. All right, so generate social media posts in seconds for free. It's so easy to use. You can use it right in your browser. I'm in Chrome here. And what's really cool is they have prompt templates. So if you're on Twitter, you can go ahead and click on Twitter, and then it gives you prompt to help you actually generate social content that is useful. So I'm going to click on share a personal goal or challenge related to topic. Now I'm going to put community building. Okay. I'm going to see what comes up here. 
community building and encourage your followers to do the same. Tone of voice, I want to make it witty. And then approximate words, I'm going to keep it really short and sweet, but you can adjust this. You could also generate hashtags, include emojis, which is fun. And then I can choose how many posts to generate. I'm going to go ahead and press generate. And here's what comes up. My personal goal is to start a neighborhood potluck to bring everyone together. I've actually done that. It's really, really fun. I do one at Christmas as well. But these are actually really cool posts. Like these are things that I would genuinely be thinking about anyway to share with you guys. And it's really cool that Social Bee helps me generate some witty posts. I, I can go ahead and connect my socials so that everything's really integrated and easy. So simple to use. And I've been actually using this for plenty of different prompt templates. So some of the cool templates that I think are really relevant to you if you're building community, the interactive prompts. If you're trying to generate conversation in your community, it actually comes up with a whole bunch of templates. Of course, you don't even have to use these templates. You could go ahead and just ask your prompt straight away. But I love the fact that they've got these prompt templates. It's got a few different niches as well. So if you're, for instance, focused on entrepreneurs or accountants. It's got some prompts for that. It's got call to action prompts. It's got explain and expand. They're still building this tool to deliver even more value to you. So they've got these favorite selections coming soon. So I love the fact that I could part things that I really like to use in the past and I just want to use those again, but maybe change the topic or customize it further. I feel like I should be using the YouTube one. Maybe I should use it to come up with an idea for the title for this video. I might give that a go. But yeah, if you're looking to create a whole bunch of content, you want to fill your whole content calendar with, with value added posts. I want to emphasize that I don't want you creating a whole bunch of posts that are not useful to your community members. It's not about generating noise. It's about delivering value. So that's really, really important but I do think this tool is super useful to help you get the ball rolling, to generate content that you can deliver to your community members that adds value and reduce the time it takes for you to be thinking about what post should I be writing about? What YouTube videos should I be creating? What TikTok videos should I be filming? It really helps narrow all of that down and create some really great posts. So there you have it. That's four AI tools to help you with your community building efforts. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you've used the tools and it's been helpful, let me know. Comment below. If you have any other tools that you've tried yourself and you absolutely love them, please comment below and let me know so I can take a look at them. Like I mentioned, I have gone through a whole bunch of other tools and I've written an ebook, so I'll put the link to that below in case you're interested. Oh, and another thing, if you're really interested in AI tools for community builders, every week I now write a free newsletter for community builders. And I also include AI tools that I've encountered in that newsletter. So I'll leave a link for you to be able to subscribe to my free newsletter. I also have a video on ChatGPT, so you can watch that here. And thanks so much for watching.